So a third measure of center is called the mode. And the definition of mode is the value that occurs the most. So it has to repeat, and it has to repeat the most amount of times of any repeats. So let's go ahead and start with problem 2a. So in 2a, 12 shows up once, 21 shows up once, 13 shows up once, 15 shows up once. Hey, 12 is a repeat. This has just shown up a second time, and 17 only showed up once. So in this case, there's only one number that repeated, which is the 12, and so that's the most occurrences, and 12 is the mode for problem 2a. When it comes to problem 2b, I'm looking at the list, and it's nice, it's in order. So three showed up three times. Seven showed up three times. Eight showed up three times. Ooh, 10 only showed up twice. Now you have to repeat to be a mode, but you also have to repeat the most amount of times. And even though 10 repeated, it's not as many times as the other. So not only do I have somebody who out repeated another number, there was a tie. So the mode for this problem would be three, seven, and eight. The mode consists of three values that occurred the most amount of times they tied. Next we look at problem C, and a lot of people get this one wrong. Remember, a number has to repeat. There are no repeats repeats, I should spell that correctly though, huh? There are no repeats in this list. So right away there's no mode, and that's the answer. No mode. Some people want to say that the answer is zero, but the answer isn't zero because zero didn't show up the most. Like look at problem D. In problem D, zero showed up one, two, three, four, five times, and actually no other number showed up again, let alone five times. So in problem D, the mode is zero. And be careful because that is not the same thing as zero with a slash through it. I know that could look cool. Maybe that's how you've always written your zeros. But in math, zero with a slash through it means empty set. It means that it doesn't exist. There's nothing. I mean, you might have even been able to use that for answer C, but I would have held off. So then let me have you, now that you've seen every type of example there is, solve problem E. Your missing numbers for problem E are, whoops, it didn't write, 256 and 301, and we're actually going to go over that one in class. But before we move on, I do want to talk about this fact, part three, talks about how mode is our only measure of center that can be used with qualitative data. So more of some a descriptive num value. For example, if you look in your closet, do you find a mode of clothing coloring? Do you mostly wear black clothes? Are all of your clothes blue? Is there a theme? And that would be the mode of your clothing color.